Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. We are jumping in again this time as Crystal with the Flamethrower, which is just a really fun weapon to start with. Mainly because it's a weapon that I rarely get to use or rarely ever use. Because it's kind of one of those weapons where it's like middling tier, where it's, it's decent but it's not great. And therefore, I don't really use that that often. By the way, I've been told that I need to find the fish skull and destroy it and it'll give me an item. Um, in 1-1 one, one or 1-2, one, so I'm gonna be looking for that. Someone suggested that to me the other day, so I will, I will try my best to do that. We'll see how it goes. Either way, yeah, there it is. There you go, we got the Inversion Magnet. Which, unclear what this does, but it's a melee weapon. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. It seems like the screwdriver... I'm I'm not quite sure. I, I'm going to guess that it means that it'll take us to an inverted floor, the inversion magnet. Or it'll at least make them spawn more often or something along those lines. That would be my initial guess. Either that or we're going to start getting some inverted enemies mixed into regular floors. That could also make a lot of sense. But yeah, honestly, as you can see now, Flamethrower is doing a bang up job right now. Need to use my, uh, my reflect abilities a little more vigorously because at the minute I'm not really utilizing them too much. But yeah, maybe maybe we'll see a few more inverted floors. I'm not exactly sure what it does. I've just been told to grab it and apparently it will it will be apparent what it does soon enough, so I guess we'll see. Inversion magnet to me says that it's gonna spawn inverted floors. And actually there you go, we just got an inverted floor, so that might well be the case. Which is kind of an interesting idea actually if you want to have a little more of a difficult run where you go to the inverted floors and get like the bonuses and stuff from the inverted floors, then you can. I do want to try and uh, explore this floor before going down there, though. Because we do have the ability to get ourselves a rad canister still. Which I'm always going to try and get. Or, or maybe we don't. Or maybe we don't. But anyways. So yeah, I don't know if that's just random chance that you got the inverted floor or not there, but... I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we... Uh, We'll see how this works. It seems like a little bit of a risk because it um, it takes up obviously a whole uh, weapon slot, which is super valuable in this game. So it might not be something that we want to um, that we want to go for every time. But it seems pretty cool. We got an auto crossbow there. Oh, damn! That guy killed me fast. Anyways, we'll restart. We'll try and do that again and see if it takes us to another inverted floor. It should be on one one or one two apparently. I don't know if it's uh, a guarantee for either or, but we'll see. But yeah, something a little more unique and interesting that I didn't know about. Whenever you guys have some tips or different things that you can kind of tell me about Ultramod, then I'm always willing to listen. Ultramod's got some really, really cool stuff, so I'm always happy to hear about it. I find saliva here pretty good to start. It does take quite a lot of ammo to destroy the skull, as we saw last time, but not anything too bad. So we got it again. So I don't think it'll affect anything for this floor because we only just picked it up. But in future floors at night, spear launcher, is that new? I've not seen the spear launcher before. I thought I'd stick with the flamethrower though. I think the flamethrower is. The flamethrower is really good. God damn, I can hardly speak. I can hardly talk. Right, there you go. We'll see if we get anything inverted this floor. But I think normally the inverted floors spawn early. If, if it shows up on the next floor again, like guaranteed, then that's that's pretty interesting because we can get one inverted, one guaranteed inverted floor and then go back to normal, which could be a pretty interesting way of doing it. So we'll see if we get an inverted floor here because, yeah, I think that could be a really, a really good way of doing things in the future. Getting one guaranteed inverted floor then carrying on like normal. And it did indeed spawn again, so that seems to be the case. Okay, that, that could be super valuable for the future. So yeah, I'm just definitely going to try and work that into future runs, I think. Okay, we got all that over there. Just trying to find the rad canister, but I don't think we have one again here. I'm not sure what, why that is, but... Okay, open that up real quick. And yeah, let's be, let's be extra careful on this floor this time, because that last time, I wasn't really. I, I just need to use my shielding a little more proactively here. I don't really use it that much. I just tend to not use abilities all that much, I'll be, on I'll be honest. 
I'm not a big fan of Nuclear Throne's abilities. Even when they're really, really useful, I tend to underutilize them because, for the most part, with other characters, I tend not to use them. Okay, I think that's just a regular police. Uh, item drop, why not? Oh, God. I wasn't expecting that for some reason. Flamethrower is actually so good right now. <laughs> I underrate this thing. I suppose when you've got weaker enemies earlier on, it makes more sense. It, it kind of works a bit better. Those enemies are insane. That was risky. Okay, health isn't looking great. We've got Alkaline Saliva for the next floor. Um, take Bloodlust again as well. It's really good. Um, okay, okay. I wasn't expecting this. It's taken straight to YVs. So maybe this is just like an all-round alternate path we can take. That's going to send us down each time. I imagine it's going to send us to this floor reliably. Golden Shovel rocks. A little worried about my health. Golden Shovel sounds good to me. Okay. A few more fellas down here? No? Down here, maybe? Yeah, there you go. Good, good, good. Yeah, I like that. The fact that we can get to why these mansions so easily like that. Be nice, get bitches. That is the way. Let's see how quickly we can kill this guy. Wow. Very. That actually saves a lot of trouble. I do want to kind of keep the inversion uh, magnet on me. Because I'd like to see how it affects, like, later down the line. Like, if it does much later down the line, or if it's just that. I imagine it's just that. I wouldn't expect the game to want you to carry it for a long time. But there could be some secrets where if you carry it for, for a long time, there's some stuff you can do with it. I don't know. I think Nuclear Throne has some of that sort of stuff. Like with the screwdriver in base game, really. So, it's definitely got the possibility that that's something that we could see. A crossbow there. Also, I'm just happy to stick with the, the weapons we have right now. Rabbit Paw could be really great here as well. Splinter Crossbow is definitely an interesting pickup. This floor, okay, yeah, we did get another inversion. So I think every like alt path floor is gonna give us an inverted. Which definitely means we have to be a character that starts with a decent weapon or find a decent weapon early on. That's definitely gonna be key. But, I like it. Nice. There we go. I think Tough Shell's going to be really good for us here. With Alkaline Saliva, I think that's a good mix. Oh, have I been here before? I feel like I haven't. These enemies look new, to me at least. This is going to be a rough floor, I think. Damn. Yeah, this is going to be a rough fly. I've got to be very cautious here. I think Bloodlust is probably going to carry us right now. I don't know who's summoning more things. I don't see a summoner. Reload speed. Okay, I went straight through. Yeah, I like this idea. This is cool. I'm going to go with that again. Also, never fought the inverted version of this boss, which scares me. But I think Flamethrower will kill this guy pretty quick, yeah. Or at least I don't remember fighting the inverted version. I might have done. I don't know if Reload Speed does much for the Flamethrower, I'll be honest. But yeah, this is a proper alt path route. I like this. This is good. We are going to have to swap the flamethrower out pretty soon, I think. I think it's kind of reached its peak. Laser crash. Eh, laser crash isn't great. I I'm definitely worried we're going to die here, because... Whoa, this ball is awesome. Because I just... I'm going along a path that's very risky. That helps. That that certainly helps. Pop on through here. 
straight through. Uh, we can maybe check if any of the crowns could do anything for us here. Um, pickups fade faster and are worth more. Lose health and gain additional radiation over time. The difficulty in weapon tiers increase more each area. That could be diff different. Die and reborn. Higher chance for inverted portals to appear. I mean, that could be interesting. Crown of natural selection. Higher drops, no rads. That's kind of interesting. Um, more curse chests. Remove your secondary weapon when you go through a portal. Ooh, kind of interesting. An extra van spawns. Absurd amount of enemies. Every area is dark. Enemies can hit each other. Seventy percent higher drop rate when above uh, fifty percent lower. Ooh, that's kind of saucy. Start each area with one HP. Twenty-five percent chance that enemy spawns in with ten percent HP. That's really risky. I'm gonna go with this. It seems like a really, really, really risky one, but I think because we got bloodlust, which should give us a good way of getting health. When we don't have, um, when we don't have drops. Could be an interesting way of doing it. Is this guy gonna die? There you go. He is good. We should get a lot of drops, which is great. Um, Dammer Guts is really nice here, too. Nice way to deal just a bit extra damage. This has definitely fallen off a little bit, as you can tell. But still. But yeah, 70% more drops is actually no. Gamma gets to that guy straight away. That guy scares me. Straight through here, I think. There you go. There was an inverted floor there that I could have gone to. I thought that going through this was probably the better idea. Oh, shit. Don't know why I didn't expect you. I think we're good. Infinity crossbows there. Replace mod. Uh, so we can add blood. Or we can add radiation. I don't think we need either of those. We're good right now. We'll stick with the crown that we've got going on right now, which is this one. Crown of Risk. Snow Dragon. I think we'll take the Snow Dragon over our other one now. Seems to be a better version of a flamethrower. I think it uses a bit more ammo, but otherwise better. Also, freezing is just very, very powerful in this game, so I'm very happy to have that. We'll have to see how ammo efficient it ends up being. Could be problematic for us. I always forget he sleeps when we start. Also, it definitely does more damage when you're noticing. Like, a lot more. Although, we're completely out of ammo now, which is, like I said, problematic. Okay, we're going to start the next stage with very, very little ammo. Um... Second stomach seems really good for us right now. Okay, there's the ammo we needed. Yeah, this is a very, very good weapon. We also got another inversion magnet there. Which is kind of cool to see that we can get another one. I didn't think you'd be able to, to be honest. I wasn't really thinking about it, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't consider the fact that you could get a second one. So when you're looping, you can then get another one later on sort of thing. Well, that was quick. Um, plus six. Move while shielding. Shorter shield. Shoot while shielding. While stationary. Um, increase fire rate. Deflect projectiles. Home in on enemies and vulnerable to all damage while shielding. Let's go with that. Right. Hello again, you. Remember to freeze them boys, and we're good. 
Morph or Flame? I think Flame with a with a Snow Flamethrower just sounds fun, so why not? And make sure to take the same crown again. This bad boy. With this amount of drops as well, we're in a good, we're in a good uh, position here. We're able to keep everything pretty much off our back. Should mean that health is dropping pretty regularly as well. This amount of enemies, we get um, ammo back pretty quick. Two-headed dragon. Ooh, okay, this one's this one's interesting. I'll keep the two-headed dragon. So that's normal flamethrower and snow flamethrower in one. Which I like the idea of. The snow dragon seems to be a bit more directed, which is obviously better, but having the, the yin and yang here, I like that. Big Assassin. Oh, you're there. I was wondering where the hell you were. Okay, careful, but we'll move on. We need to shield a bit more. I, I just took a mutation for shielding and I didn't use it. Especially on these inverted floors where there's a lot of shots coming in. We do have shorter shields, so we've got to be careful of that. But being able to shoot while shielding is quite amazing. It means I can be quite defensive while also being aggressive. Swarm, we'll go with that, why not? Good, good. Right, away we go. I'm not I'm not sure I'm feeling the two-headed dragon, to be honest, it's not as good as our other one. Don't really need reload speed on this bad boy. I feel like other flamethrower, the snow dragon, did do a better job. Don't really know how I survived all that, but we'll take it. Ghost Blade. What's Ghost Blade do again? Ah, it's all my inversion magnet, I'll be honest. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Thank you for the tip. You know, to freeze things is so good. So satisfying. We're into hell. We've entered hell itself. We're not really getting enough ammo to sustain this bad boy, though. That's the one problem. I thought we would be. Feels like we're not. Inverted again. Go through. Doing really well for going to the inverted force. Give me a lot of good practice, I will say. Yeah, like, look at that. Ammo-wise, we're on eight already. It just, it's because we've got a melee weapon. It keeps giving us crap ammo that we don't need. That is one thing with Nuclear Throne that, while understandable, I do kind of hate. <laughs> they can just give you the wrong ammo because you're holding melee. Seems like an interesting idea. I think I'm going to go with this now. <laughs> oh, shit. I missed out on that. Damn it. I can see that there. Right, where are we going? This is our boss hall, which we do have. One we'll max HP and increase. It seems to not matter which one you take to what upgrade you get. It more matters the order. So we, we always get plus one HP and then 15 thingy. Reload speed on this thing is actually really great. Thank you. Oh shit, I didn't see those guys there. Not see those guys there. 
Give me that back. I'm really liking this crown. A lot of risk associated, but I really like that. Really interesting version of this. That did not do as much to that as I was hoping it would. Hello, inverted dragon. Two of those gonna kill you? Yes, very much so. I thought they would. You're not really seriously gonna lob two grenades down. <laughs> I walked on the air uh, on what the, what normally is the lava and it froze me. Because it's like ice now, that's cool. What on earth have I stumbled upon here? I just kind of had to sit back and admire for a moment there. Because I think I found a floor containing everything. Like all the bandits. That's really cool. The music's really chill as well. We found some interesting stuff today. Hello, Tetra Cat. I assume that this will kill you quickly. It did not kill you straight away, so... Slightly surprised. Otherwise, this thing's doing fine as well. There you go. We're through. We are through. Awesome. Into this area now. Kind of a thin hallway for this gun, really. We should get a charge through, to be honest. Get to that inversion portal. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm charging through a bit too aggressively here. Okay, I think we made it. We did indeed. There's a toxic dragon there, but unfortunately kind of a low level. I don't think it'd be that useful. Like this area in there is scary. Again, we kind of need to charge a little bit through. I think with this weapon we should be okay. Should be okay. Oh god! The truck ran me over and I survived. I do not know how. That's like probably one of the biggest ways that I get hit. Gotta be careful as well now if we're getting less drops. Okay, in we go. Back to normal drops in there now. That there. Yeah, nice. <laughs> let's let's just let's just go for it. Why not? Golden Bounce for SMG, that's a really good thing to top, top us off with. I'm a little worried about our ammo situation for the Inverted Throne, which have we fought the Inverted Throne before? I don't... Oh my goodness! Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we definitely haven't. I haven't seen that before. Little bit worried about our ammo situation right now. But there is no reason to be, because... Uh, that was, that was instant annihilation. <laughs> yes, I thought, why not do this? And, uh, seems interesting. We're through. We made, we made it through one level. We get an extra mutation here as well. Um... I don't know. I'll be honest. I think Puffy Cheeks is probably a good idea. The preemptive reload with this thing could be pretty good. I have a feeling we're going to die. The game's just lagging so much. I can't even see what's going on. I'm going to try and make my way down to this. Gamma Guts is certainly helping, I'll tell you that. Oh god, the truck was spawning at the top. I didn't see that coming. 
I guarantee that's the way I die here. Did I see a line grenade? I thought it said live grenade. I was like, what? There's so many more enemies over this way that I didn't see. It's just charge through and hope for the best at this point. I wonder if it'll spawn a bunch of enemies in, in this area. The throne guardians, whatever they're called. Not by the looks of things. We're sticking with this because we're alive. With the gamma guts as well, you're pretty safe in these areas. Oh my god. Golden assault rifle unlocked, apparently. Not that we've nerfed. Some of these weapons might be a bit too good. Apparently there's a boss. I'm gonna stay in crystal form and hope for the best. Puffy Cheeks is certainly helping too. Is that it? Apparently not. Apparently something survived all of this. You two. If you could not do that, that'd be great. Right, here we go. The technical universe, indeed. At this point, I'm just seeing if I can walk into everything and not die. <laughs> Made it through. <laughs> yeah, I was just testing there to see if I could genuinely just walk through things. You obviously can't. Anyways, that run was going a bit long anyways. I think we knew where that was going to end. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.